What is going on you guys? Today we are back with another awesome recap. And today's movie opens with a brief explanation of Project Connect. The Captain James is set to teleport to make contact with alien life. We see James in his spacecraft awaiting clearance from COM-1, and he gets the green light and starts his machine. A few seconds go by without anything happening, then a bright light flashes, and James is teleported to the second machine. He's unconscious when he realizes the orbit of the second planet, and his spaceship is reporting multiple problems. James wakes up a few seconds later, and he sees his ship has zero fuel, and he stole to abandon ship. He then grabs a gas mask and adjusts the ship's trajectory to the new planet, and his ship then dives down, and as soon as it passes the planet's atmosphere, James ejects out of the spaceship and lands on the ground safely. He looks around his surroundings, but there was nothing, and then he sees smoke from afar, so he starts walking that way. When he reaches the smoke, he sees that it's his spacecraft that crashed and started a fire. When he checks the oxygen level on the planet, his device tells him that it's a breathable level, so he takes off his gas mask. He then makes his first transmission back to COM-1 and explains his situation. He asks for a rescue ship as his ship is blown up, and he also informs them that he doesn't see any intelligent life on the planet. The place he arrived at was very barren, and it looks like that for miles. Transmissions take 3 hours to reach each side, so all he could have done after sending his message was just wait. He opens his bag and sees he only has enough food for 5 days, and he takes out his water bottle to take a sip, but as he was drinking, he hears some kind of machinery driving beside him, and he accidentally drops his water bottle and spills his water on the ground. James goes up a hill to check what it was, but there was nothing in the area, and now without any water, if he doesn't find any source of water, or if he doesn't get rescued, he's gonna die really soon. A few hours pass and he gets no response from COM-1, so James just sleeps for the night in hopes that he gets a call back the next morning. The next day, he sends another message to COM-1, and he's been on the planet for almost 24 hours. And even though he stayed there for almost a day now, he didn't find any intelligent life nor a water source, so he decides to move and look for a water source, and to his luck, he finds a small river. He rushes to it and checks the water's purity using his device, and it comes clean, so he fills his water bottle and drinks from the river. He then continues his journey and makes his way up a hill, and from there, he takes out his binoculars and sees some kind of animal. He then hears a gunshot and he sees a robot hunting the animal. Thinking the robot is friendly, he starts waving at it, but the robot shoots at him and almost hits him. James then runs away from the hill and escapes from the robot, but while he was walking on the road, he almost gets hit by a truck. Later that day, he finds an abandoned stone house, so he sleeps there for the night, and there was no callback from COM-1 yet, and James is now thinking that no one will be coming for him. The next morning, he comes up with a new plan and he decides to find the people that made the robots and ask them to help him go to orbit. He assumes if there's a life form that can build robots, then there will also be a life form that can build a spacecraft. He follows the paved road and walks all morning, and he then lies down for a few minutes, and he starts dreaming of his newborn child and then gets awakened when he hears a gunshot, and when he wakes up, he sees multiple trucks on the road and robots with them. He then runs into the forest, but when he sees a robot with a robot dog walking around, he tries to hide away from them, but the robot notices him and starts shooting at him, and James tries to run away, but he gets shot on the hand. Seeing that there's no way to run, he grabs a stick and runs at the robot and hits his camera, and he then takes out his chip. He then runs away and covers his wound, and he then takes another nap, and he wakes up and finds the robot dog next to him, staring at him. He's freaked out and immediately stands up, but the robot dog doesn't attack him. James then sees the robot is actually just following the robot's chip, and that was why it was lying next to him, so he grabs that and the two start walking down the road together. On their journey, James finds a bottle in the middle of the road, but he couldn't read the language. He then finds an abandoned home and enters it, and in there, he finds a gun which he takes, and also finds a projector with a film inside of it. He starts a projector and sees a family celebrating a holiday, and he then grabs a newspaper from the floor, and we find out that there's been a World War III, and the newspaper reveals that there has been nuclear attacks on Washington DC, London, and Berlin, and that the West is retaliating back. Then on the video, we see jets and attack helicopters fly over cities and drop bombs destroying them. 
James then checks another newspaper and he sees that people have been getting moved to underground bunkers to survive the nuclear attacks, so he decides to find the bunkers. He sleeps the night at the home and in the morning gathers all the materials that he needs and starts making his way down the road. He notices the dog's back is made for carrying bags, so he puts his bag on the dog and the robot dog then changes direction and starts moving so fast that James starts to chase him. And after running for some time, they reach a destroyed nuclear power plant. James, thinking that the dog might be taking him to where the people are, follows him into the abandoned town. All the buildings are half destroyed and there doesn't seem to be any living person. In the middle of the town, the dog randomly stops walking and James feeling confused asks it where the people are but suddenly, the dog drops a smoke grenade and at the same time, a drone starts shooting at James and the dog. The robot dog covers himself with the smoke grenade and James manages to make his way into one of the homes. Multiple drones then arrive at the town and start shooting at the homes and a robot also arrives in town and enters the home James is in and starts shooting at him but he runs away and finds a hiding spot but the robot was still coming his way. Then out of nowhere, the robot and the drone start shooting each other and with them distracted, James and the dog escape from the town. They continue their journey and they finally reach the bunkers and the bunker had an automated defense system and we see it shooting at the drones when they fly by. James starts looking around and finds the door and when he opens it, the room is filled with dust so he quickly grabs his gas mask and enters the room. Inside, he finds a long hallway that goes deep underground so he follows the long tunnel until he finds a robot. The robot was walking directly toward him so he takes out his gun and shoots it but that doesn't do any damage. He then starts to run back and finds another hallway that takes him into another room. He finds another door that seems to lead somewhere important so he tries to open it but the door was locked and the robot also reaches the room but ignores James and opens the locked door and walks in. James then also enters the room and finds a dead human skeleton on the floor and he then cautiously walks to the dead skeleton and goes to touch it but before he can, he gets a message from COM1. COM1 tells him that they just received his transmission and that they've been having issues with trying to communicate with the machine. COM1 also explains that the machine insertion to the planet orbit is highly irregular and that they're having trouble with linking it with the machine back to their planet. They also say that they're not able to send a rescue party until they can determine the cause of the problem and urge James to find a way to go back to the machine as soon as possible. James continues making his way down the hallway and finds the control room and he enters it but finds everyone that was working there are also dead right on their chairs. On the computers, there's an automated message playing and it's a warning that the system has been overridden and that it's detected a chemical weapon. James gets close to the computer and sees on the security feed that everyone in the bunker is dead. There's been some kind of chemical attack that's wiped out the people even inside the bunkers. James was now starting to lose hope as there doesn't seem to be anyone alive on this planet and he lets out his frustration by beating up the dead skeleton. He then gets another message from COM1, and COM1 informs him that there's been a big calculation error on their end, meaning the machine actually arrived on the new planet years before they thought it did. James was looking around the room while hearing this news and he finds a poster on the wall that had the picture of the machine and a bible verse talking about Jesus' return next to it. James then sees a news article that is talking about the machine. The headline reads, World leaders argue if the machine orbiting the planet is from aliens, God or another government. James is shocked to learn that the machine that they built to connect with another intelligent life has become the reason for the extinction of the people. This is also when it's revealed to us that James is actually an alien and the planet that just had World War III is our planet Earth. When we get back to James, he gets out of the bunker with all his hope of finding people and building a new spaceship lost. He kneels down and puts his gun on his head and he cries as he contemplates killing himself but then he remembers his children and decides to continue living and the movie comes to an end.